Yo, welcome back to Genshin Impact. In our last episode, we I pretty much think we completed the event story of the Labyrinth of Warriors event thing, but we forgot to talk to Shikitai Show, and by that I mean I did not forget it. I was just scared that there's gonna be another hour of gameplay while being in the mansion, so um, I'm gonna talk to him now. Because I think maybe we can unlock him as a gadget and then we're going to see if there's something else in the Shikitai show that's going to be related to the story or if they're just going to leave it at that. Because I'm pretty sure the story ends after this from what I've seen. Traveler, Paimon. And I think Shinyan is gone too. <laughs> I explained the situation to the Tenryo Commission and showed them the original documentation. In the end, they believe that the mystic Onmyo Chamber and I were innocent. Original assignment again? That's right. I've also restored the Mystic Onmyo Chamber to its original state. A domain dedicated to honing martial Which prowess. means that the two last floors are gonna be even harder. With time, this domain may exhaust itself of charm magic. When that time comes, I will let it lie dormant so that power can gradually reaccumulate. Now might be a good time to give it a try. Are you up for oh, the challenge? Oh, I have to? Oh, yeah, damn it. Damn it, I don't want to, but I have to. Do I have to? I don't know. Those who seek ultimate attainment can find it in practices of this mystic Onmyo chamber. Of course, rushing straight for the strongest opponent may set you back. Know yourself and proceed in accordance with your abilities. Wait, did I get like a gadget or something? Oh, I got him already. Okay. Right, then there's no reason for me to go inside, I guess. Or, wait, let me let me check this out. Uh, 60, 90, 120 Primer Gems would still be in there. Complete approval divergence without using any curative emplacement to heal any characters. I'm not gonna do that. Fuck you. No. <laughs> Why would I ever go back in that? What is this shit? And I've heard that the fifth floor is gonna be super hard, and we don't even get like a a name card or something. So why why should I do this? Shadow of the Ancients. Catherine of Adventure Guild seems to be having trouble dealing with a certain investigate investigative commission. Helping her might just come with its benefits. Journey to Tsurumi. Man, okay. Let's go. Th thanks, Kuching. <laughs> oh, but why we're talking about this? Hold up. There's something else that we haven't finished. There's a lot that we haven't finished, I know. But this one is something that I wanted to do for a while now. Because we still need to finish the Syrah Storm Chasers event. So, you, you remember those guys that we met on there? That were looking at the stone. Why can I not teleport? <laughs> oh, it's not activated. Oh, never mind then. And then we had to find these things with these stones that we have to turn around and then just These stones, you know, and then we unlock these teleport points and now we have to get over here And I still think it's really cool that we can like literally fly around here From stone to stone because this looks super epic and it feels super epic and it actually is super epic <laughs> I like traveling like that. Oh, I like getting uh, like truculuses like this. Oh, I'm dying. Why though? I'm equipped with this thing. I should not be losing HP. Hold up. Yeah. Give me the treasure chest. Oh. Oh. Yay. That's everything. Plan to the next. Thank you. Um. I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. I see a challenge over there, but that'll have to wait. Oh, damn, this looks like a spine or something. Wait, form yourself upon me. What now? Oh. 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 The last warning star should be right up ahead. Thank you, Paimon. I can't read that fast. Touch. 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 Seal the Varding Stone, which means we're just gonna try around until 
until it's done, right? Oh, hell yeah. Does that mean we can walk around freely now? Oh. What is happening? <laughs> ah! It feels so weird playing anything else than the Omnio Chamber now. But I'm glad that we don't have to do this anymore. Um, what's with this platform? It looks like a battleground, kinda. A battleground up in the air. Oh my god, that would be super epic. It is a battleground! Oh my god. Hold up. Can I... Can you let me back up? I... Oh, I can actually. I'm gonna change my team. Oh! <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> gonna change my team for a sec, wait. Uh, if we're gonna fight against some kind of thunderbird or whatever, then it would probably be better to have a, to have a healer in your team. Those zones actually made such a huge platform. What's that up ahead? I don't know, Paimon. Let's go have a look. Be careful, though. Let's get sucked in the void, and he's here. I'll protect us. Thunder manifestation, I raging thunder of Amakuma Creek. Yeah, I figured this much. That's why I. We don't even get a tutorial for this one, okay. Solidify. It looks so pretty! It looks like a ocean but kinda like a bat. What was I gonna say? That's why I equipped Barbara for healing and not... Damn, he's beautiful. I wanna take a screenshot of him when he stops doing these attacks. Or these attacks, or Jesus. Damn, why are you looking so sexy? Remember when everyone was simping for the ocean need for Rodia? I'm simping for this one. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Bitch slap me. Oh, come on. Bitch slap me. Oh, damn. That's hot. Stabilize. <laughs> damn. Slay, king. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. I did not really have much sleep. What am I saying? I actually had much sleep for once. No! Come back! Stop attacking me. I thought we were friends. I thought you loved me. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Oh my god. Solidify. But the boss fight is kind of difficult. Take flight! No, I never talking about boss fights. I've never done the uh, Senora boss fight ever since we finished the quest. Why are you so hard to beat, man? But you're hot. Oh damn! Yes, he is hot. Okay, she's just standing there. And I'm almost dead. Okay, fuck. Give me heal. Oh, fuck, come on. Come on, Barbara. Come on, Bobby girl. Oh, fuck. Um. This is die. And another one. What? What is he doing? Hey, law for non-communication. We done it. Looks like we can still continue on with from here. Wanna do that? Is he gonna be a weekly boss or something now? I mean, we get yeah, we get a weekly boss reward, so um, probably is. Okay. Uh, well, like not weekly boss, but just boss. Paimon says we can continue exploring. Hmm. Where though? Where do you want me to go, Paimon? Can I climb around here? I can climb around here. Don't fall down. Don't even look down. Jesus! Sliding. Sliding down. That's the way where we came from. The big ass spine. Oh, I see it. I see it. Wrong way. No! Oh, fuck. Um, damn. Gotta be careful where you're going. Uh, continue exploring. Okay, next one. 
I see Electroculus. Okay, over there. Yes. This is so cool. I'm still so amazed by this island because I never would have thought that we can, like, travel among the class. This is a feather? How strange. <gasps> Precious just. Let's bring it back and ask Tyscan Echo. Maybe they know something about it. Ooh. I think this is. One man's stove. Is this is the peak of, of this island, probably. Brought back to Tyskin Echo. Ayo, we got a dude. Hey, Ayo, we got a dude. We fucking got um recipes for crafting. Wait, while we're up here, I'm gonna do this challenge. Oh, I always thought the boss fight was gonna be down there, but I also always thought that the whole thing would be underground with the teleport points. And I'm not disappointed. Not everything has to be underground. This ain't Super Mario. Oh yeah, great. Giving me this without an archer character on my team. Amazing. Well, I'm just gonna fly back down here. This is so relaxing. And I'm wondering if the Thunder Barrier is still here then. If we can explore inside here. But probably there is nothing to explore here. So that's why the Thunder Barrier was here. And I remember when I first arrived on this island and I thought everything would be underground here and I struggled walking through there. Yeah, with the high electricity zone. And I was like, fuck, I'm dying. Uh, where do I have to go anyways? Report back to Taisuke and Echo somewhere over here. And I see some unopened chests over there. Which I actually should do because I need... Uh, the things for the sakura tree but um not now not now hold your horses uh people oh right here they're standing here okay, okay. i see you <gasps> hey yo i'm back the storm has passed wait who's aiko she's aiko right the storm has passed. Seems like all four warning stones have been sealed. Mm, that they have. Uh, it, it, it's... How did you get up there? Taisuke said that you passed through some kind of door and then you disappeared. What on earth is with that door? How strange. What happened up there exactly? Eiko and I had a, heard a sudden rumbling from above, almost like thunder. But the storm should have abated already. Now, here's what happened. You tell all of your experiences. I flew up there and then boom, I feel it now. Rocks floating in the sky formed a platform? Huh? That's. I must confess that I've never heard of such natural phenomenon occurring on Southern Island. Which part of that sounds like a natural phenomenon, seriously? It's super unnatural no matter how you look at it. You'd be right to say so. Well, natural otherwise, the storm over Sarah Island has been calmed and our commission is completed. You know, we also found a strange feather of the bird. This. Taisuke, have, you have a look? Alright, allow me. Mm, apologies, but I have no idea where this feather came from. Probably from that big ass boss that we just fought. Why did we not even mention that one? This feather is pattern and texture and nothing like any birds I know of. And if you study its dimensions and durations involved, this bird should would have been the largest that stone platform up there in the sky. Is this feather that important? If you want to figure its history out, why don't you put up a commission at the guild? Who knows, you might run into someone who can give you a lead. Alright. Dude, I literally know where this thing came from. Is that the boss platform that just f formed itself? I think so. Well, in that case, thanks again for your help, Adventure. Tyske and I will head back to the guild to make our reports. Uh, right, this is for you. It's not much, but I'd say you're still owed some payment for your help. Tyske, get ready to pack it up. We're headed back to the guild. Oh, so Echo, let's drop by that shrine real quick and see Lady Neko, shall we? He still wants to see the talking cat. Tyske. Come on, it's a cat that can talk. A talking cat! Seriously. Alright. We done it. Ayo, I'm adventuring 65. Dude. That just fucking happened. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Talk to Catherine. Character is currently involved doing other quests. Yeah, probably this one. Am I right? Journey to Tsurumi. Yes. Hell yeah, I need to talk to Catherine anyways, because I'm... Okay, we unlocked the boss, hell yeah. This is great, this happened. Gotta talk to Catherine anyways, because I just got 
Adventure rank, dude, the fuck this been happening ages ago and I do Finally. And there's people all out there already being adventure rank 60 and I'm like, oops. But we still making progress. Hell yeah. Hey Catherine, what's up, my girl? Hello, air traveler. We meet again. Your recent commission's completion record has been stellar indeed. Why do I even say that you're one of our star adventurers? You're too kind. We of the Nazuma Adventurers Guild are normally in contact with the other branches throughout Tibet. As such, there is no need for you to be so humble. Your exploits in Monset and Layu are known to us. Actually, we'd like you to consider working on a rel relatively simple investigation. The area to be investigated is on Surumi Island. The weather on the island can be considered quite unique, and it is shrouded in fog all year round. However, investigations should still be rel rel relatively safe to conduct. I can't talk for Christ's sake. The guild normally sends more experienced adventurers to take up this task, but this time the adventurer we sent cancelled the commission soon after arriving on Surumi Island. Oh fuck, he's dead. He did not elaborate much as to his reasons, just stop stopping in time to say that it was beyond his abilities before giving it up. I'm wondering if you're gonna find this person. But after this adventure forfeited, this commission ended up idling here for quite a while without anyone take, to take it up. The commissioning party has asked after it several times already. Well then, I thought we should probably send adventurer with exceptional survivor skills and experience and have them completed this commission. That was when you came to mind. So, what do you say, Travel? Uh, this all seems a little fishy. <laughs> Let me consider it. Are you worried that there might be unknown dangers along the way? Uh, yeah, the fucking wolves that I fought in the Zonmyo chamber. To be honest, some adventurers did reject this commission on that account as well. Well, we can work around this and decrease the commission's requirement a little. If you should encounter any particular pernicious, pernicious dangers along the way, you can return to ask for help. There's no need to obsess over completing this investigation. Ah, uh, yes, by the way, the person who posted this commission appears to be a researcher from the Sumeru Academy. He originally intended to investigate the weather of Tsurumi Island, but ran into some problems during the research process. That's why he posted this commission. If I'm not mistaken, he has forked out the lion's share of his research grant, so the reward should be quite sizable. Oh, uh, well, let's give this a go then, shall we? Well then, thank you for your willingness to take up this commission. Allow me to show you where to begin. Please do stay safe as you investigate. However, I will wish you the best. Ed Astra Abyssusk. Wow, I should become Catherine's voice actor. Okay, um... Your deeds on Sarah and have been reported to me by Miss Aiko. You've done very well. But back on the topic, the guild has received a commission of even greater difficulty than what we've... than that which you accomplished, accomplished on Sarah. I wonder if you'd be interested in... Yeah. Sounds like increasing danger. You consider that sort of commission difficult? <laughs> I suppose I should take that into account next time. Oh, she's gonna change my daily commissions, fuck. <clears throat> Regardless, it's not that sort of commission. The person who commissioned this quest is a Miss Sumida. As for the details, it might be best for you to get them straight from me. Well then, add Astra Abyssosk. I await the completion of your next feat. Can I get my rewards now? Add Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Uh, no, not this, this one. Today, not this one. Why are her new added voice lines so... Abisosk. So silent. I'm not even getting... I'm, okay, I'm not even getting the fates that I want. Not even getting Primal Gems. The same allows you rewards and all the next things? Okay, this one is gonna... Bruh. What the fuck? We got better rewards than the things before. They're not even giving out Primal Gems anymore. Well, at least I can flex. Uh, go to the designated location. Wait, did I trigger both quests now? Talk to Sumi, a particular, particular author. Oh, right, Catherine seems to have a new commission for you. That was that one quest that we could do, that everyone was talking about, but we couldn't do. Talk to Sumi, the journey to Tsurumi, go to the designated location to investigate. Wait, I want to do this one. And boats are made for boats are made for you to shut the fuck up. Okay. Um, great. No teleport point. Oh right, we have this one. Let's fucking go, guys. Let's fucking go. I'm excited to explore the new island, and it's probably better that we start off with this quest anyway, so we can get rid of the fog and walk around here freely before doing any other commissions. Ooh, I like the soundtrack. And I see a Celia. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Don't get on my nerves, please. I'm just here to get rewards. Please, 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 please spare me. Oh, I'm so excited what this island's gonna look like. I 
And I'm wondering if this is gonna be the last island of Inazuma or if there's gonna be another one. <laughs> Beautiful voices you have, guys. Go to the designated location to investigate. So I'm allowed to go over there because otherwise, why would that make sense that the quest tells me to go somewhere if I can't go there? Thank you. Certainly worth the extra mile. Gonna die in a second. Fuck. How? Go to the designated. The. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe. We have to do this one first. Okay, I don't know actually. I don't know. Talk to Sumida. Sumida is in Inazuma City. Then let's talk to this person first. Maybe she can tell me how to get rid of the fuck on the island. To have full access to everything. Where is she? Or he? I don't know. There she is. Hello there. Oh, hello there, might you be the illustrious Yagi? <laughs> I'm Yagi, yes. The Paimon's the illustrious Paimon! Alright then, so tell me, have you ever obtained the mightiest sword in the village? The Harbinger of Dawn counts, I guess. <laughs> Sad or like a one-star weapon or something. Triumphant Harbinger of Dawn that points towards victory. Yeah, then we got that sword from Kaya that one time? <laughs> that doesn't sound... that does sound very strong. Maybe even a bit too deliberate, so still. Have you led a life surrounded by beautiful men and ladies? Well then, did you- <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm living my harem gacha life at its finest. Well then, did you defeat a giant dragon not long after your story began? Or perhaps did you get wrapped up in some crisis upon which the survival of a nation hung? Have you ever faced off against an elite antagonistic force of a numbered ranking scheme? Did you- did, did you play Genshin Impact? She's like breaking the fourth wall. I can't say I haven't. But hang on, what do you mean by not long after your story began? She knows that this is a game. Or are you perhaps in fact of a traveler from another world, just like the main character in Flowers for Princess Fischl? Is she just here to break the fourth wall or is this supposed to be like, oh, Genshin is a simulation kind of thing? Wait, what? Oh, I can't feel that sense of destiny that a, a protagonist should have from you. Um, wasn't officially written something from Honkai? I don't know. You know, you know when Catherine said it was going to be harder, did she mean the communicator was going to be harder? <laughs> That's it, I'm leaving. <laughs> uh, wait, don't go. I was just making fun of you. Catherine told me so much about you, so I assumed that you'd be more like a light novel protagonist, you know. But in truth, you gotta talk to Sing Cho if you wanna have someone like that. In truth, I suppose such people are hard to find. My name's Sumida. As for my band name, I haven't finished thinking about it yet. I've got plans to take part in this year's. This novel is amazing. As such, I need a re reliable adventure to help me make a trip to Tsurumi Island. Tsurumi Island? That's right. Now, the name of my novel is currently The Chronicles of the Sea of Fog. The broad strokes of its plot are such as Nameless Fog, Young Man, and his adventures in a nation shroud in perpetual fog. Okay, so she wants us to be the main character for a story. Ah, saved. I see what she did there. Well, the plot details are currently still in the works. But my eventual goal is to write an epic novel that can move hearts and soul, like Kino, Kino's Travels. That's... Yep, it's that very same. It's that very same, Kino's Travels. In which an outlander named Kino, who doesn't quite fit in anywhere, strides across many strange islands. She meets all sorts of people, and she's drawn into all kinds of wicked plots and all manner of cruel wars. Yet, each one of, the ha of her adventures shall someday call us into shining gold. Paimon doesn't quite get it, but it does sound like she's talking about you! So about your commission? Oh right, sorry, I got off the topic. Actually, I've been reflecting on a habit of mine quite often. It slips into my writing as well, to the point where I once wrote over 20 pages before even getting to the point. Sounds like something no one wants to read. At that time I wanted to use the legend of the key to Nisaigu, ushering people into the underground halls of Aromi. To save them from a disaster at the basis for tales about her new incarnation peaceful life amongst the people of Hanamizaka. <sighs> That's it, I'm leaving again. Wait, sorry, I'm sorry, don't go. My bad, my bad, so please go to Tsurumi Island and find a way to bring Moshiro back to me. This is a traditional instrument of the civilization native to the island, which has been lost for several millennia now. 
as the Why Need One, the fictional, obviously, plot of the Chronicles of the Sea of Fog, working title, takes place on Surimi Island, and when Nameless Young Man sets foot upon it, let's go. They hear a strange sound, but it's actually that sound of the traditional Maoshiro recording it folk tales. So please, I want to probably describe it some, and that's why I need a real Maoshiro. I need a real. <laughs> that's why I need a real Maoshiro. <laughs> it's just written in one word. You actually say on topic. Wow. Uh, she was almost about to go off on some tangent or another. Still, don't you really need a real Maoshiro just to write a novel, Miss Sumida? Wouldn't a do 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 or a feel just fine if you need to describe the sound it makes? Writing is a most serious endeavor. You must treat the things you are describing with the utmost respect. For example, if you wish to describe Bale Thunder, you might go to Muso Chin Gorge to experience it. <laughs> just get hit by a stroke and die. Okay, thanks. Would not recommend. Instructions in clear ended up dying. That's the only way you can maintain authenticity and credibility. That sounds very dangerous. True, and I almost died back then too. <laughs> if I hadn't instructed Kama to get me out of there, if, if he saw that something was going away, I, I was laid up in bed for. I was laid in bed. I don't want to know these details. God damn it, you nasty shit. For a few days after that rescue, <laughs> everything I could see, everything I threw up, it was all purple. Ew. But now that I think about it, the fact that everything I threw up was purple might have been a result of my only being able to see in purple at the time. Uh, it sounds more like you had too much lavender melon to eat. <laughs> ah, now that you mention it, that's true. <laughs> I should compare and contrast the two experiences next time. Um, she's just gonna overfeed on lavender melon and throw up to compare. Okay. Have fun, I'm not... I'm not in your way. In any case, this letter is for you. Pass it to a man named Kama and Rito and he will take you to Tsurumi Island. Please, this year's this novel is amazing, credit price is at stake. Frankly, I don't give a shit, but also, to your luck, I actually want to go to Tsurumi Island. And we haven't been in Rito since forever, so hell yeah. Let's go back. I still remember that day a few months ago when we arrived. Exactly here, and <laughs> we saw Toma here, and now Toma's banner is up and can't pull fucking shit. Oh, actually, I have pulls for the other banner, so might as well just pull here. What was I gonna say? I forgot. I'm just saying I'm glad. We're back in Rito, and I wish more quests would take place over there. And I wanna know if I can fucking get a 5 star weapon. Finally, please. Nope, not at all. Okay, never mind. Never mind. There he is. That day when we arrived here felt like Christmas. Damn. Hey yo, what's up? What is it? Sumido sent us. She gives Sumido's letter to Kama. Kama reads the letter carefully. Another one, huh? Another? It's nothing. Since Lady Sumido has recommended you, I have no complaints. Are you ready to go to Tsurumi Island? I'm ready. Then let us go while the weather remains clement. Let's go! Boring Kama smooth, you arrive at Tsurumi Island. We're arriving at the same spot where we came to earlier, or is it gonna be on the other side, where the quest is gonna take place? Probably the same spot. Wow, this is Surimi Island? This... this... looks really sad. What's with this huge fog? Didn't actually expect that there would be a quest with, like, arriving on the island, actually. Sumida mentioned this as well. Kama, do you know that... uh, what is it again? The Maoshiro? Yeah, that's it! Kama, do you know where we should start looking? A year old spider webs. Yeah, a few new I wouldn't need our help. Ugh, this is so annoying! Does Paimon have to do everything herself? Actually, I'm doing all the work. <laughs> all the same, do you have any suggestions? I think you're forgetting who does the heavy lifting around here, yeah. It's best to enter through that large gate over there. Hmm. Lest you, lest you get lost in the fog all too easily. I will wait for you here. Look for me once you you secure the Mashiro. I will send you back. I don't see a gate, and also I never made it past that one point over there, so... Travel to Tsurumi Island. I am on Tsurumi Island, actually. I actually am. Oh. Okay. Hey, Primer Chips. <laughs> Wrong button, but yeah. Yeah, the soundtrack is also really sad. Paimon's right about that. I see the gate. 
But that's where the fox starts. Oh, the fox is already here. Oh, it's the great gate that Kama talked about. If Paimon remembers correctly, we were told that we have to pass through here. Oh? Another fox just gone like that? I was here like five times before and it didn't work. God damn it. God damn you, game mechanics. Oh! Wow, that was easy. Okay, never mind. On the beach. Mount Kana. Moshiro ceremonial side. I think that's where the boss is gonna be when he comes out next update or something. I'm here. Made it in one piece. Oh, feels like we've gotten our bearings now, huh? Yep, even though the fog hasn't dissipated yet. Oh, Scaramouche! <laughs> ah, there's a kid over there! Do you assume that kids all run out to desert islands to play when they've got time on their hands? You should tell him to get safety. You can ask if he knows anything about the Moshiro. Great idea! Okay, let's ask Scaramouche. Yeah, I've seen memes about this guy. I think he's called Ray or something. Yikes! Ah, uh, didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Yikes, do you know my YouTube channel, perhaps? <laughs> you're, you're an outlander. And you've got a little floating girl with you, too. That's awesome! I haven't seen any outlanders in so long! Well, no wonder no one can make it past the fog around here. Uh, Paimon's not a little girl or whatever. Paimon's Paimon. And who are you, kiddo? My name's Rue. <laughs> well, I'm Yaki. Uh, either way, the important thing here is... Uh, to ask about the werewolves of the Maoshiro. No, no, we've got to figure out who's the little person he is here. How many years old are you, Rue? Um, what does years old mean? It's like thousands of years old. That's the number of years that have gone by since you were born. The number of years? Let me count. Several thousands, maybe? Sorry, I can't remember anything more specific. Um. Um. How do you count a year, if I might ask? Um, a year passes whenever I hear the father, of course, just like everyone counts it. What? Hold it just a minute there. Did you assume that the Tsurumi Island civilization has vanished for several millennia now? He's like one of the people who's still here. Okay, I see. And this way of counting years is so weird. It's probably because they can't see the sun or the moon with a giant fog. Well, either way, let's hear what the kid has. Yeah, probably can't see anything. Still, you've come exactly the right time. Today's the day of our big ceremony. Our big ceremony? Aren't you the only person alive on this island? Kabatsu would definitely be pleased to have a new and rare guest taking part. Who's that? My good friend. So there will be a ceremony? Sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like danger if you ask me. Exactly. Everyone tells me that will be the star of the show this time too. But we'll need to do some things before the ceremony can start. Either way, Yaki, Paimon, come with me. Um. Seems a little weird, but let's follow along and see what we'll find. Go to the destination and talk to Ru. Ru pause drag race. Um. Birds. Bird, bird. Bird is the word. Is it a bird, 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 bird is the word. Die! <laughs> That's so easy though. We literally weren't able to pass through the fog, but now we come here once with this random guy and then we are able to pass through the fog. Amazing. Thank you very much, Genshin Impact. Climb! Embrace the ice! And another one. Die. Uh, take this reward as well. Yeah, okay, but some areas are still blocked up by thunder and you can't really see too far in the distance. Give me rewards. I shall treasure this good fortune. What are these things? I'm wondering. Okay, I cannot activate them. Maybe they're like supposed to show me the way. What is this? Fluorescent fungus. Damn. Oh, there's actually people around here. Damn. Let me introduce you to Big Sister Mercury and Big Brother Ipe. Hey there. Hey there, Paimon is Paimon. <laughs> hmm, the purse seems to be in a good state. This year's ceremony should go well. Oh, come on, let's talk more offering. Let's talk more offering. 
After all, the perch is the keystone to the ceremony. This is the tree upon which the great Thunderbird wants to send it. Grandpa Mata said that the maintenance of the perch indicates our respect and worship towards the great Thunderbird. If it is damaged... I know that said this, your ceremony leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And the fact that I'm the only one doing work over here makes it worse. You know what, I think I get this guy. Well, you are very reliable. Hey, you're just too reliable, Ipe. What's more, this is my first time making offerings to the perch. Well, yeah, whatever. Anyway, the next step next step is to touch the perch. Then help me look for feathers around this area. Feathers? Oh, right. And didn't Grandpa want to tell you about it? Part of the process is removing all foreign elements from the perch. I'm a foreign element, please don't kick me out, I just arrived here five minutes ago. Basically, the power of the Great Thunderbird will accumulate within the perch and it will carry off foreign substances that infiltrate Surumi Island in the form of feathers. Afterwards, the fog will purify those feathers, after all. The fog protects our island and will not let anyone pass through the sacred barrier around us. That's why we need to find the scanner and bring them back to the perch. I'm sorry. Oh, I see, I see. I get it now. And did you really? Ah, uh, probably. Because the Makira is just pretending to not get it. I can tell. Ah. Uh. So we just need to find these feathers, right? So we just need to find some weird looking feathers. It's made, us, it's made using the great Thunderbird's power, so if you have keen elemental senses like Rue does, finding them would be a cinch. Really? Isn't Rue lucky? <laughs> mm. Don't be silly, this bitch is full of bullshit. Oh, sorry. Uh, come on, you two, let's go find those feathers. If you help make offerings to the perch, I'm sure Kapatsir would be proud. Would be happy. Who is Kapatsir? Uh, alright then, let's just touch that perch first, shall we? Okay. Touch the perch, touch the perch, touch the perch. Oh, exploration knowledge. Surumi Island's perches. According to the native people of Surumi Island, the Thunderbird once perched upon these trees, and thus it is necessary to make offerings to them. Touch the perch, and the power within it will transform into three feathers and fly away. Flut, flut, away, okay. Gather the scattered power to complete the offering process. According to the na okay, okay. I see, I see. Okay, let's go. Primer gems. Touching the perches. And it's lighting up. Neo. 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 Fusion. Pew. Yeah. Hey, they flew out. Let's go look around nearby. I can see them on my map. Oh, one is here. Or is it not? Okay. Um. I see you. God, it's kind of scary walking around here. Didn't I say this was perfect Halloween vibes and now we're here and Halloween is already over? God damn it. But Legend says if you wake up at 5 a.m. in real life, ew, real life, then you'll be able to see things like this. There's a feather, look, look, there's two more. Then real life is gonna look just like that. The fog is still annoying. Well, this is going well, two feathers down, one to go. Thanks, Paimon. I like the soundtrack. So mysterious. Don't fall down, please. Miss Kamizato, watch your step. Alice in Wonderland in Genshin, when? Okay, here it is. Wow, this is crazy. Give me more. What should you do? Let's go have a look at that porch. Okay, let's make an offering. Is it gonna glow so that we can see things now? Is the fork gone or something? Oh, nice. Nice, pretty. And... I think the fork is gone around here now, I see. Port back to Rue. Well, that's done. Nice. You're back. We're back! The perch looks really happy. I'm sure Kapatsu will be really happy too. Who's Kapatsu? My friend. Kapatsu loves to hear me sing. I'll be singing for her during the ceremony. I don't think that's human. Ah! He can sing too! 
Well, you're seeing George Clay's lyrics into Wampa Flowers, though. She would not recommend. That's amazing. Uh, mind if I ask Paimon as to what happened? <laughs> Oh, uh, you need a mouse hero? Well, we'll be heading to the ceremonial site soon. They're going to put all the mouse hero there during the ceremony. I bet Grandpa Mata is going to need help making offerings at the other purchase too. Well then, see you both later. Not coming with us? I've got some preparations to make for the ceremony. I'll be meeting Capitsu there after all. Everyone's been looking forward to the ceremony too. I won't disappoint them. Well, see you later then. Why do I feel like I can't even explore? Paimon wonders what's up well, as long as it's a festival, there'll be good food, won't there? Wow. Everything's lit up now, but I'm kind of wondering if we can actually explore around here. Or... Not really. Oh, there's signs on the walls, and there's the Electroculus. Or if we can't really explore here because of the fog around here, then we have to continue the quest of the island to... Light up the other perches, and then... Um, unlock environment to explore. Ayaka, don't fall down. Just want to get the Electroculus, please. And then I'm gonna explore a bit. Or at least I try. Touch. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. fuck. Hey, hold up. I'm gonna do this. Shongli is taller. <laughs> Um. Did I say that I love the music? I know I said it, but I need to say it again. Uh, hold up, wait, before we fall down. Um, stamina food. Okay. Touch. Oh, I missed one of them. Okay, hold up. We're gonna get this in a second. Something else on here? Nope. And this one. Trish chest! Ayo! Nice one. Gimme. Certainly worth the extra. Do I have enough primals for another pull? Not yet. Okay, okay, wait. There's my last two primals. Am I right? I'm right. This island looks really cool. Take flight. I will have I'm lazy. Thank you. One man's stone is another man's gem. Thank you. And Thank you. <laughs> oh! I knew it! I knew it! Ayo! Oh my god! <laughs> oh! My first 5 star bow. Oh my god! Hey, that's fucking epic. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm scared. Do I want to reset my pity? Gonna make one wish. Okay, wait, I'm gonna buy two of these. Fucking scared. Gonna make one wish one wish on this banner and maybe get Toma. Please don't get to tell. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> wow, I actually held back and did not wish on again on another one. <laughs> wow! Oh my god. We got a five star bow. And one of the of the good ones of the current banner ones too. Collect electro particles, I'm stuck fuck. Okay, give me. Let's go. This one. This one. Fly down. Come on, get it. This one. Okay. Speed run. What's if these electroculus just laying around here like that? I'm not complaining. Oh, I think that's a ceremony. Unsolicited. 
Oh. And all the more valuable Thank you. for it. Stabilize! Thank you. I didn't actually want to go to the ceremonial site, I just ended up being here, I'm sorry. I just wanted to explore. No. These guys are so annoying. They're like on the same level of being annoying as the flying things in Watatsumi Island. Die! Oh, nice, we're getting drops. Love how this one is just randomly laying here. I would like to get the other one as well, but I don't want to start the ceremony yet. I want to explore. Wait, where is the next teleport point? Okay, we unlocked all of these. Then there is one over here. Let's go this way. And see a bit more. Gonna save that one Electroculus for later. It's also interesting how every island only has one, one statue. Because like on the other places we had multiple statues because there weren't multiple islands like that, so. So many treasure chests, hey yo. Nice. The soundtrack is so cool and I like the fog, it's so pretty. Yeah, the fog's really thick here. If only there were some land or lights along the way. Oh, these things, okay. Uh, these appear to be ritual stone piles set up by the Tsurumi Island Civilization. You can activate them using Electro. After being activated, they can prevent nearby people from getting lost in the thick fog. Okay. I see you. Okay, I see an Electro barrier. Oh, okay, I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Alright, I'm leaving. Don't kill me. Uh, I'm gonna activate this one as well. Um, which means we have to go this way. Crazy how there's thick fog around here, but it's not even saying on the map that it's here. Because the map is like, oh, you can... You can travel around here. Oh. This place is looking interesting. So many treasure chests. Hey there. Sorry to destroy the party. No, wait, I'm not sorry to destroy the party. That's actually my plan. <laughs> oh, the other one's still alive, too. Okay, fuck. This is order. Well, not anymore. <laughs> no. My apologies. Ha, ah, bitch. You bet. <laughs> Gee, more treasure. Uh. Wow. Wow, you can take so so many cool pictures around here. Uh, give me drops. I drop my drops, magical lollipop. <laughs> Haven't done hype make references in a while. You're welcome. Wow, you can see Sarah Island from here. Na na da 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 da. I want Genshin to collaborate with Hypnosis Microphone, please. I want Ramoda Amemura in Genshin Impact. His element would be bitch. I don't know. <laughs> My favorite element. Just kidding. I like Fling Pulsa. None of you knows what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. Uh, Namoculus where? Uh, Electroculus, I'm sorry. I'm so... I'm an Outlander. I'm from Mondstadt. Literally, bitch. I see the gates, but I don't see it. What is this thing? Oh! Thank you, thank you. Always make use of these mechanisms when you're around here. That's just one of the lights, am I right? I'm right. Is that one of the trees you can make offerings to? Then we probably have to come here. Come. How can you say come without it sounding sexual? Uh, when doing the main quest. Oh! No. I did not see it. It was this guy. These guys. Fuck. Multiple of them. 
Anyways, die. We obtained so much in this episode, what the fuck? We finished off the Taisho Shiki event finally. And talked to him for the last time. We reached Adventure Rank 56. We completed the Sour Storm Chases event and had a boss battle in there. We arrived on Tsurumi yeah. Island and started the quest and can finally explore the island around here. And we got a 5 star weapon. Everything happened in this episode. Everything. One man's Everything. Is another man's gem. I'm only not pulling on the other banner because I don't want to ruin my pity. Why am I swimming around here? I'm gonna die. Uh, where's the other teleport point? Over here! Wait, which one did we activate then? I thought that was the one we activated. But I did just activate one. But it wasn't this one. But I thought it was this one. But turns out it wasn't this one. So there must have been another one. Which means we have to go back and find this one. So we can activate this one. I see a treasure chest. I see a little silhouette of a man. Okay, so that's the teleport point we activated. Okay, okay. Uh, don't fall down if there's something to fall down here. I don't know. <laughs> Literally can't see shit around here. Um. No, not now. I'm sorry. So many treasure chests. Wow. Sorry, please ignore me, please ignore me, please ignore me. Wow. Pretty. Annoying bitches. Oh, I have to climb? Okay, wait. So it's on top of this one. Sorry, I'm not interested in your party. <laughs> Down. Okay. I just thought these pillars were enemies. <gasps> oh, there you are. Hey, yo. Stamina, please. Thank you. <laughs> Teleport waypoint unlocked. Yeah, yeah. Achievements have been made. Yeah, yeah. Just to heal the churls and a chest. Which means more easy to kill. Yes. Yeah, of course, these guys weren't the only one around here. I knew it. Embrace the eyes. Take flight. Die. Got me on. Die. Order guide you. I'm done with your shit. Okay. Wow, okay, guys. Well, I would say we're gonna and see you in the next episode of Cash and Impact. Until then, Shazam. Bye bye, stay high, stay traded. See you next episode. soon.